what's going on guys? It's the Lego Mandalorian here. And if you saw my previous video, um I'm working on a mock of you know made out of the Legos of the Battle of Lothal of the Star Wars Rebels season four finale. Now in this video I'm actually just gonna be talking about my opinions on like just season four and just Star Wars Rebels in general. Um, so, you know, I'll just say, like, right off the bat, I think Star Wars Rebels was a really awesome show. I kind of wish it could have gotten more seasons. I mean, like, I'm not saying the ending ended on a cliffhanger, but, I mean, I just wanted to watch it, like, for a longer amount of time. But, but regardless, I still think, um, you know, it ended on a really good note. Um, I mean, like, I'm not saying, like, uh, like, season four was perfect. There's a few things that I felt like wasn't explained in the end or could have, like, done better. But, um, like, for example, like, the Mandalorians, like, like, in the first two episodes, um, then, like, we just saw, like, like, them, like, fighting, like, for their freedom, like, from the Empire. But then, like, after that, we never got to see them again. And, uh... In season four, which, you know, I'm the Lego Mandalorian, so, I mean, this is kind of a, like, it's not really a, a huge deal, but, like, I feel like, like, they could have gone back, and, because, I mean, like, I don't know how to say this, but, um, like, I mean, you could say, like, it did end, like, just the conflict on Mandalore ended because, like, all the tribes united, but, um, I felt like it wasn't complete. I mean, like, who knows, they may do another, um, they may do another animated series where they go back to Mandalore, and, like, you know, because we still don't know what happened to, to the Mandalorians, like, well, we don't, because we don't know, like, what happens, like, after all the, um, the events, like, from the original trilogy and, uh, and the new trilogy, but, um, so, you know, I, I still want to know what happens to them. But anyway, let's go on to um the rest of season four. So, like, I really liked what they did. The fact that um they were all uh all these episodes were connected. Like they didn't like end the conflict after every episode, and then go to like to a new plot, which I liked. It it was like an ongoing plot through like the entire season. So like um like shows like Stranger Things like they did that perfectly. Which, like, you know, that's why I really liked it. It's because, um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with, like, one-time episodes. But just as long as, like, they're, there's still a good ongoing story. Um, like, you know, it's still, it's still gonna be a fine, it's still gonna be a good episode. Now, also, just to tell you, um, like, I'm not gonna have any clips playing, like, in front of me, um, so... Because I just wanted to do this video where it's all just going to be in one take. Because, I mean, I just like, um, yeah, I don't know. Well, so my point is, um, you know, like, it does take quite a while to put in all these clips. So, you know, I just wanted to have, like, you know, a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So, like, I'm not, I'm not just going to be talking with clips playing over, over my voice. But, I mean, I, I should have said this, like, at the beginning of the video, but... Anyway, let's move on to the rest of it. The review. So now, I do feel like, um, you know, it took like, I think there were like eight, six episodes, uh, into season four, and then like they had the mid -se season break. Which I do feel like the mid season break went on a bit too long. I think it was like October to February. Which, like, that was like five months of waiting for the rest of the season to air. So. You know, I mean, I get, like, they were trying to just build the hype for the finale. Well, I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, like, I I didn't really like waiting for five months. But then, um, you know, the last, like, six episodes, technically, because they aired two, like, at once, like, for three weeks. First two episodes of the second half, they were pretty good. Like, I don't really think anyone saw Kanan you know, dying, like, in the second episode of the second half, like, I mean, like, everyone thought, like, it was a bit too soon to kill him off, but I get, like, why they did it, because it felt, like, a bit too cliche to kill off, like, one of the big side characters, like, at the very end, so, I mean, you know, it's a 
good thing that they did change it up because, cause, I mean, we don't want to, like, see the same story be played, like, over and over just with, like, a, with different art. Like, well, you know what I mean? Like, just with characters with different names. But, um, so, like, the second two episodes, um, what they were about, oh, jeez, why am I blanking out? So, yeah, now I remember. So, yeah, these, oh, these, these two episodes, they were awesome. So, it's all about, um, going back to the Jedi Temple and, like, how there's, like, an Imperial outpost surrounding it. So, um, Ezra and Sabine disguise themselves as scout troopers, um, Ezra, like, finds, like, it's basically, like, a third entrance into it, and then, like, he's, like, in this huge room, like, I guess, like, it, like, connects, like, all the worlds, uh, like, all the planets of, in the Star Wars galaxy, and then, like, we even hear, like, some of the voices of, uh, stuff, like, happening, like, from the past, and, like, even, like, from the new trilogy, like, Rey and Kylo Ren, so, I think that was pretty cool, and then, like, you know, the big bomb dropped where he, like, Ezra, like, alternates the timeline, well, not re not really alternates it, but, like, he saves Ahsoka from getting killed by Darth Vader, so, like, I was super surprised, because, like, we'd gone, like, almost two seasons without knowing what happened to Ahsoka, so, you know, we do know Ahsoka is not dead, and then, like, actually, at the end of the the series finale, we see that she is actually, she comes back to Lothal, and she and Sabine are going to go look for Ezra, so spoilers, um, so Ezra, like, I guess he had, like, a backup plan at the end of, uh, of, like, when, if Thrawn ever came back to, um, have, like, some of the, some of the other rebels that stayed behind, um, back on what was left of their outpost to go, um, to summon the Purgle, so, like, if you ever remember that episode, it was kind of a filler episode back, um, in season two, but, I mean, I think it was really cool to bring the Purgle back, so, so he, br they, the Purgle came back, like, they took out a few of their airships, and then, like, they all, uh, like, one of them, like, because they're, like, they're, like, flying, like, squids, almost, so, like, one of them, like, like, basically grabbed Thrawn, so, like, Ezra, like, like, they basically shot the Star Destroyer, um, like, out, like, into who knows where, like, some people say it's going to be, like, the Outer Rim. Nobody knows where Ezra or Thrawn is right now, but we know they aren't dead. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that they do, they do another animated series, um, so, like, for what happens to Ezra, Thrawn, and the rest of the Rebels, so then we also see, like, um, a lot of the other stuff, like how Ezra, I mean, not Ezra, Hera and Rex, you know, fought in the Battle of Endor, which that was pretty cool. You know, because, like, there were theories, like, back almost a year ago that, like, Rex was the bearded guy from, uh, he's the bearded guy from, like, the Battle of Endor, which, yeah, apparently it was confirmed that he is, the, he was that guy, so I think that was pretty cool. You know what I mean? Like, he probably, like, he's, I mean, he's definitely not going to be in uh, the new trilogy because he probably just, he probably just died of age. And Hera, it's, I mean, it's possible because, I mean, she'd be in her, like, maybe, she'd be in her, like, 60s, like, in the new trilogy. So, you know, she could still be, um, with the Rebel Alliance. Like, you know, I'm, I've said, like, in my last Jedi review, Jedi review that I'm not going to call the resistance the resistance. I'm just going to call them the Rebel Alliance because I think the resistance is just a corny name. And just, I can remember re just the rebels a lot more. So, um, anyway, like, um, so then, like, Zeb, he basically went back to, um, his people. So then I guess, like, Callus went along with him. I guess, like, just as an apology for, like, almost, like, wiping their species to an extinction, so, you know, I, I really like Callus as a character, because, like, you know, he was, like, the bad tur guy turned good, which, um, you know, it was, like, it was done in a really good way, like, it started back in season two, when they were stranded and, uh, forced to, 
basically survive together, like on the, the moon rock. Like, yeah, just on that moon. So um, he just, like, questioned which side he's on. And then, like, by the end of season three, Thrawn caught him. And then he had to he had to go to the Rebel Alliance. So, like, also, um, like, I kind of wish they would have done a bit more, like, in the second half with Saw Gerrera. Like, I mean, like, I think he was a pretty cool character because, like, like just, like, in Rebels and Rogue One. Because, like, he's not... He's not a rebel, but he's not, like, a bounty hunter or a pirate. So, like, yeah, he's, like, he's an extremist. So, like, they're right smack in the middle of uh, those two. Like, he hates the Empire, but he doesn't, like, he doesn't care about, like, civilian casualties. So, like, like that also, like, made Ezra question, like, why, like, is the way, is the method that he's fighting, like, the right way? So, like, I mean... You know, we all know what happens to him at Rogue One, but, like, they could have had at least some mention of him in the second half. But, I mean, like, I get, like, why they didn't, because, like, he wasn't really necessary. I mean, so then, like, also, like, I've been getting a bit off track. So let's just skip, like, to the last two episodes of the series where, like, they all unite, like, just about, not everyone they've met, like, throughout the seasons, but we've got, like, Hondo, we've got, like, that Ugnaught that works for him, we've got, uh, what's Sabine's friend, I don't, don't actually remember her name, um, we got Wolf and Gregor, we got Rex, we got Callus. um, I think that's, well, then there's also, um, Commander Sato's nephew, he was one of the pilots, so he was there, too, um, so yeah, there was he there was him, um then oh yeah, Governor oh I, I completely forgot um Governor Ryder. So like I think yeah, it was really cool what they did with him where it's sort of like he um without telling them, he basically gave away their coordinates to the rebel outposts, so then um Governor Price like came, ambushed them, um but like it was really just so he could get Governor Price face to face and then like basically like take over. Also, wait, I forgot there was Bizach Bizago? Bizago, yeah, that's his name. So he was with them too, so um you know, yeah, Governor well, you know, the ex governor, Ryder. Yeah, he you know, he did play a good role. Like some of the characters like they they didn't do that much. I mean like there was a uh, yeah, Sabine's friend, she didn't do much. Like, as a character, um, then there's, like, a Gregor died. I mean, he was, like, the only one. Yeah, he was the only rebel to die. I mean, there's, like, a few other rebels, like, at the base, but, um, like, they all stayed behind for what's left of it. So, um, yeah, I actually, um, yeah, that's, that's all I have to say about them. So, I guess that's, that's basically all I have to say about, uh, Star Wars Rebels season four finale. Um, so you know, I really hope they can do another. Um, there's another animated series coming about like Sabine and Ahsoka and maybe the rest of the Rebels. But um, so yeah, I really liked Star Wars Rebels season four and just Star Wars Rebels in general was just a great animated series. Um, so anyway, if you like this video, you can give it a like. If you want to see more of this kind of content. You can subscribe and leave me your thoughts about Star Wars Rebels Season 4 and Star Wars Rebels in general in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.